Now, your Central Coast forecast from KSBW Weather. Good morning, this is Phil Frame in for Gina DeVecchio, and this is the view from SkyCam 8 looking down upon Monterey, lots of clear skies, and you see the flag, the flag is being pushed out toward the bay, that means it's an offshore wind, it's coming off the land, going out to sea, that means it's dry, and that means it's going to really warm up, and it's going to be sunny and clear just about everywhere if you aren't already sunny and clear right now. Temperatures, well, we have 49 in Moss Landing, getting up to 62 in San Francisco. San Francisco and Soquel are the warmest at 62 and 63, and that is very common in offshore flow where you'll see places near the coast actually warmer than other places away from the coast, like Hollister at 52 or King City at 57. Also, when you get an offshore flow, especially this time of the year, you can get a red flag warning. The National Weather Service has issued that. It is valid through 9 a.m. Monday, and that means there's high fire danger in the areas in red in the Santa Cruz Mountains in particular. If you are in an area where the winds are gusting, it's going to be a, a very dry wind, and as a result, you want to uh, exercise caution because you remember what happened last year at around this time when we had a red flag warning and we had much stronger offshore winds as well. Now, currently temperatures, it's a fall-like pattern, 32 in Lake Tahoe, 42 Eureka, you have to get down to Palm Springs before you see 70. And the situation out over the Pacific, well, it's kind of what you would expect. High pressure offshore building in, and as a result, it is setting up that offshore wind, the winds coming out of the north and northeast, and those are dry winds. And as a result, we have the warmer weather, we have the clear skies, we have the red flag warning. Futurecast shows you how this is going to play out. The winds are expected to be coming out of the north northeast at around now. And then if we take you 24 hours ahead to Monday morning at about the same time or a little later, the winds are still expected to be offshore. And then 24 hours after that to Tuesday at around oh, 11.30 a.m. Also continuing to be offshore, although a little less in terms of speed than they are today or tomorrow. But then on Wednesday, we start to see a change. We expect to see a weak onshore flow developed by Wednesday morning. That's good news because it will cut down on the fire danger. Now, as far as the temperatures for today, you can expect it to be warmer just about everywhere from the inland areas, from the mountains to the coast. 68 in Half Moon Bay, that's the coolest. Every place else in the San Francisco Bay Area is expected to be in the 70s and 80s, up to 87 in Los Gatos. In the Santa Cruz County area, mostly in the 80s, although Aptos is expected to remain below 80 at 74. And in the area from the Santa Clara Valley out to Moss Landing temperatures in the 70s to 88 in Gilroy. And here in the Salinas Valley temperatures all in the 80s, not much difference between Salinas or King City. And in the Monterey Bay area temperatures 70s to low 80s. And then for the next eight days, well, maybe a little bit cooler tomorrow. Further cooling through about Wednesday before we warm up again along the coast. And in the inland areas, same story, although the numbers are going to be a little bit higher, as you'd expect. And that's uh, how it looks for the next few days. All right, quite a bit of sunshine. Thanks, Phil. Thanks.